This year's Science Expo at Shapko Hall in Ashwaubenon will get underway in less than an hour. And we are there live this morning getting a glimpse at some of the fun exhibits. This morning we're joined by Julie Pavela. Uh, you are the director of the Einstein Project, right Julie? Yes, I am. I'm the director of this fun circus today, but we're having so much fun, and we have over 60 exhibitors here at Chopco Hall, but and as part of that, we also have a science fair, and we have over 45 projects done by 60 kids from all over northeast Wisconsin who are demonstrating their ideas about science, second grade through eighth grade, and we have one of them with us here today. Sylvia Griffith is with the Wisconsin International School, and Sylvia is going to talk about her project. What did you do for your project? I did hydraulic power. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about what you're demonstrating here? I am demonstrating how water can be used as power for for different things, such as making energy that you can use to power houses and also just to lift stuff like I'm lift, lifting my lizard here. Now, what's your lizard's name? Fred. Fred. Fred is going to get lifted by hydraulic power today. So, can you demonstrate and explain what's happening while you're doing it? Sure. Sure. <laughs> well, we need the water supply, certainly. Right? Uh, yes. Yes. This is my... I forgot my picture today, so I'll just try to pour it. Okay. Pour it. okay. Yep. So the water is turning these veins, which is lifting Fred up, and then Fred got stuck. The so string's wet, so he can't pull himself back down. But that was him being lifted up, and so the water lifted Fred, and what did you learn when you were doing this project? It's very easy to make a mess with this, and um, I learned how the, the water, this is actually very similar to a turbine. I tried to build a turbine at first, but it didn't work, so this is my, it demonstrates the same principle, so this is what I built. Um, I learned because this could be used as power, it is in parts of the world, and... Great. Well, nice job. Excellent job. We also have a hovercraft here, and Hans Mortensen is going to demonstrate that quickly. Um, Hans worked on, as you can see, quite an elaborate project. Hi, Hans. Hi. Now, you are a homeschool student. Yes, I am. And where are you from? I'm from Nina. Okay. Well, tell us what you're doing here. I have uh, I have created uh, two hovercrafts to test a uh, question of mine, and uh, the first hovercraft here is rectangular hovercraft, and I've got one back here that is a circular hovercraft. Okay. Can you show us how this one works? Can you show us how this one works? Sure, I can show you. It's a bit loud, just to warn okay. you. Okay. Sounds an awful lot like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, it is a vacuum cleaner. It is a vacuum cleaner. So this looks much more fun than vacuuming. Uh-huh. <laughs> come up with the idea? Very cool. Well, thank I you. to uh, know how a hovercraft works, so... Great. Well, excellent job. And as you can see, these are just a couple of the science fair projects you can see today if you come out to Shopko Hall as part of the Einstein Project Science Expo. All right. Thank you so much, Julie. Very cool. Thank, thank you. you.